Happy Sunday, everybody. It's KP, and I have a quick look at how I plan the week of October 12th through the 18th in my Man Be Happy Planner. As always, I like to share with you guys any recent sticker purchases from the week. So, uh, this week I had received an order in from Stickerific on Etsy. She had a 50% sale going on, and I really wanted some fall themed coffee cups and those fall weekend banners. And then the others I just kind of picked up. Um, because I have been thinking about buying some scales, and I just love laundry and cleaning stickers. I just always buy those because I like the different kinds, so I really liked her stickers. So check her out if you haven't already. Um, if you've watched my Michaels and Scrapbook.com haul from this week, which if you haven't, I definitely hope you do. I posted it yesterday. Um, I did get some new scrapbook papers, so I made myself a new cover with the owl and squirrel paper. I just think it came out so cute, along with a new bookmark. And then I also made some fall inserts to use for the rest of the month of October. Alright, so for the Plan With Me spread this week, I always pick one item or so to be my... Um, kind of theme if you will for the week so I have picked up this gray um, washi tape from Michaels at the recollection sale so I definitely wanted to use that so I decided to do a gray and purple theme these particular stickers came from pretty pleasing paper on Etsy she is a shop who has Mambi sized box stickers, which is good. They are so hard to find. I hate <laughs> looking on like Etsy for sales and I see a shop with like a great sale going on and I go to it and they don't have, you know, the Mambi sized boxes. And I'm really trying to only buy these size boxes right now. But anyway, so I thought this particular spread would go well with the purple and gray theme. So I put that out. As well as I pulled out some stickers from Big House Prints. Also off of Etsy. She's a great seller on Etsy. Very nice girl. Um, I actually follow her on Instagram as well. So I had a few of her stickers that, you know, were purple and things like that. So I pulled those out to kind of go along with as well. Alright guys, so here we go. It's the week from the, of the 12th to the 18th. My little sticky note there of just some reminders for the week. If you look closely there on the 12th and 13th, I totally destroyed my page because last week I had a huge uh, bookmark in my planner and I should have known better like than to put that heavy of a bookmark on the pages, but I did anyway. So it crumbled it just a bit, but that's okay. It was a rather easy fix because I do have the expansion pack, so I literally just placed new pages down, new dates, and there you go. I have a clean page to work on. And I kind of just adhered it a little bit, like just glued the sides a little bit, just so when I flip the page, you know, it actually flips to the page and not like a blank. So there you go, guys. So the next thing I did was went ahead and laid out my washi. I covered up the morning, evening, and um, the morning, afternoon, and night. I did go ahead and lay the gray with kind of the cherry blossoms across the bottom. And then just a little strip to separate the weekend. Next thing I did was choose how I wanted to lay some of the Etsy stickers that I had shown down. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I used just two of the full box stickers, half box, and the weekend banner. I definitely stuck with the purples. I have fallen in love with the ombre checklist. I don't know. I used them last week or the week before, and I just loved how it looked. And I don't know why I haven't been really using them. So I decided to use another of the ombre checklists there also. I felt like it was still kind of missing something, so I went through my little box of arsenals. <laughs> these are all my printouts um, and things like that. Most of these are the free ones. I do have some that I've paid for, you know, from some printable Etsy shops, but most of them, this bucket is my little free stuff. All right, and I added a few more things. I think this porcupine was so cute, and it's kind of pink and purple. Um, definitely goes with the theme for the week. The enjoy the little things, um, that is one of my favorite little sayings, so I thought that was neat. I didn't even know I had something that said that on there, so added that. Next thing I wanted to do was go ahead and lay out some of my functional stickers, so I pulled out my two 
photo albums that contain my Etsy stickers. And my second one is actually almost full now as well. And I just laid out a couple of my functional stickers. So for Monday through Wednesday, um, I usually do have my to-do list on Monday, just the big things I need to do like during the week. My mother's birthday is on Wednesday, so I added a candle, some TV reminder stickers, my facial stickers. I love those stickers. They're like one of my favorites. Um, and they actually came from Girl is Crafty on Etsy. My sidebar, I just put a quote, and that's from one of the Mambi sets. And then I'm going to use my sidebar for some notes for this week because I don't have like anything really going on that needs to be there this week. So I just figure I will leave it and just jot some notes down or whatever may happen along the week. Thursday through Sunday, I added a grocery sticker, of course, because I have to do that. I am in Ohio. So if you're in Ohio and I think Michigan and maybe one or two other states, then you also celebrate Swedish Day. <laughs> it is kind of... Um, a Valentine's Day for men, I guess I would say. But it's this coming Saturday, so I did go ahead and notate that. The BF and I have a date night on Friday. And then I just added, you know, the regular chore type stuff with the laundry there. And then another TV sticker for Thursday. Alright guys, and this is the final look. I do like how it turned out for the week. I picked a few... Um, planner clips to use. The Planner Lover was actually one that came in my Planner Attic box for this month and I really like it. The little uh, purple hair girl with the angel wings uh, was out of a set I picked up at a local uh, store in town. So there you have it. That's it. Pretty simple but I do like the way it turned out so hope you did too. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram, all things fab to KP. Have a great day.